there's lots of talk about how we're gonna how we've got a hybrid future people going to be working more from home but it'd be interesting what the data is saying it's a mess <laughs> that's not <laughs> i don't like that to be my answer on any kind of question but employees don't know what they want right now that's it that's at, at, at the end of the day that's the, that's the reality we know from work from home that we feel isolated we know we feel less connection to our team we know that in most cases we're probably more productive we feel more productive maybe there's less there's less balance in our lives. There's less distance between personal life and, and work life, and that creates stress. So we know all those things. And we say, I can't wait to be together. I can't wait to be shoulder to shoulder again. But if you ask me if I'm ready to come back to work five days a week, over half of employees say, no. They say work workplace has changed. Those feel like two competing ideas. Like I'm isolated, I need social connection. Oh, go back to the office five days a week? Yeah, no, I'm never, never doing that again. I kind of want to have my cake and eat it too. I want to work from the office when I want to, and I want to work from the coffee shop uh, when I want to, or from my living room, or from Costa Rica when I want to. And that's going to make a really big challenge in terms of space planning and office planning. So I, the, the only thing I think we're, cer we're certain about is that the real estate world will change. Yeah. We will architect, we will design our workplaces very differently uh, starting now. But I don't think we know. I'm not willing to say that we are moving closer to a work from anywhere world. Uh, I, 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 I have seen that chapter. I've read that chapter too many times in the last couple of decades where an organization, you know, 2020 aside, will go to work from home. Uh, we'll take teams and work from home. And then within two or three years, they, they come back. There is something, there is incidental communication, incidental contact. There is serendipitous communication that happens in a workplace when people work side by side that drives creativity, that drives innovation. And so I very few companies um, have been wildly successful being innovative and being completely remote. So hybrid will be here, but what hybrid looks like right now, the talk about hybrid is, will I be in the office Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and somewhere else Monday and Friday? I've got a feeling that two years from now, our definition of hybrid will be much more nuanced, much more evolved than, than that. Yeah, I think, it's, I think you're right. I mean, I've got a hypothesis that people are going to respond very differently now, having been, you know, and let's be honest, not everyone's working from home because some <laughs> people have I, A, gone back to the workplace, or never left because they're, they're critical workers. Yeah. So, you know, in this, this element, I'm talking about people that have, have or more or less been exclusively working remotely. And I, I, I've got a hypothesis that people are going to answer very differently now to how they are answer maybe in six months, 12 months time when they are going back to the office yeah. for so many days a week. And, and that's going to cause companies a challenge, isn't it? Because as you said, there's going to be a lot of work around real estate. You know, maybe some companies will you know, cut the number, of, uh, the amount of office space they've got, particularly in very expensive cities. And they will reconfigure offices maybe for the type of work they think people want to do in the office or they think what is best done in the office. So I guess it's going to be slightly more collaborative, more innovative stuff. But some of this will be driven by employee preference, of course, and that, those employee preferences might change, as you say, because yes, we do not We do miss those serendipitous encounters that we get by the water cooler or in the kitchen or, or, or whatever. And, and, and yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to be really interesting. And I guess you, your, you know, the questions that you'll be asking your clients will be asking in their surveys will have to evolve yeah. to kind of to fit with them. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.